Now that we have received uh, the Savior, you know, we're living for the Lord and the Christians. Uh, God now has perfect divine plans set for our life. And He will now be the one to guide, guide our every footstep. This, the, a lot of the, we found this on the internet, and I've been going through a hard time. I've been uh, having some problems at work, and I've been having some chest pains. And, and, and you know, in my in your head, sometimes you're always trying to work out all the problems. You gonna work out the problems? You ask God to work them out, but then we want to tell God how to do it. Well, we can't always do that. So uh, if you think about it, once we're saved. We're working. We're operating like on a different, on a different plateau. Uh, God, we got to realize that God has a perfect divine plan set up for our life, and He will now be the one to guide our every footsteps. If we allow that into the fulfillment of His plan, remember, God already has what we're to do next for Him. He already has that. Like in in some people's uh, situation, He already has. To next job or the next uh, missionary work or the next outreach. He already has that plan out for us. All we have to do is simply wait on His timing and He'll bring that to light for us. Sometimes, like I said, we want to pray and we want to ask God and we want to give God praise and ask Him to do things for us, but we want it right then and we want to tell, we sort of still want to be a part of it. So we will take it and lay it, lay it at the altar and let God have it. We want to some of us will lay it and we'll go back and pick it up. But uh, the Lord says in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Psalm 20, uh, 37, 23, this would be a good verse to memorize. The steps of a good man or a good woman are ordered by the Lord. Proverbs 16, 9. We, if we think about this scripture, it will apply to a lot of our situation. A man or woman's heart plans his way, but the Lord, what does he do? He directs our steps. But whoever, in, in Psalm, uh, Proverbs 1, 3, but whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct our paths. Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. That's found in Isaiah. In Psalm 32, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. In Psalm 48, 14, for well, this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our God even today. The Lord will guide you continually. That's found in Isaiah 58, 11. <clears throat> This next verse uh, goes one step further and it specifically tells us that it is not our responsibility to direct our own steps. It's responsibility, the responsibility now belongs to God. O oh Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. Delight yourself in Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently on Him. How I many has got patience? A lot of people got patience. If we don't, if we don't have them yet, we'll probably develop because we're gonna have to hurry up and wait on somebody else. Because people just not going to do everything that we need them to do. But we, we, a lot of times we don't wait patiently. We don't wait patiently on the Lord. We don't wait patiently at the stop sign, at the stoplight, or anything. Anything in our life, we don't wait, wait patiently. 
that the Lord asks us to rest in the Lord and wait patiently on the dead. God is never late, but He is never early. He's always on time. Always on time, never 